Welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansime. Today we bring you a very special recording that touches the health of each and every one because uh, it is from the pot bellies, it is from the postpartum bellies that fat normally accumulates in the human body and eventually clogs the, the arteries, uh, creates a lot of fat around the heart, uh, makes the, the, the lung, the, the kidney, the, what, the liver. It makes the liver to be very fatty and at the end of it all, we find that there is a systematic failure of the body. Now, to deal with all those things, there are two methods that we have to, to do. One is the detox and uh, the second one is the exercise. With me to manage this topic is... My name is Del and I am American-based exercise trainer. I'm an expert in weight loss and also in uh, muscle gaining and making sure that your body is toned. The other most important component of this video is the diet. What you eat, how can you accelerate the loss of that belly fat to make these exercises very effective. The lady that is taking us through this is the CEO of Quera Beats. It's a wellness place actually, it's more than Quera Beats, it's a wellness center uh, we invite you, Miss Purity. Thank you, Auntie Grace. Um, so when you're trying to lose weight, the belly fat, it's very important that before you go in to do all the exercises, you also need to look at how you're eating. And for starters, before you even try a healthy lifestyle, you need to detox, to set the pace, you know, to create a foundation so that your system is actually in that place where... Even when you're trying to eat healthy, the nutrients are getting in your system, but also you're exercising with a lot of energy, with a, because when you, for example, you have a lot of sugar in your system, you're eating unhealthy, processed things, processed foods, you find yourself um, being fatigued, tired, and, um, and somehow the way we eat, because of the way we eat, the body there's something that is formed in the gut called uh, in your stomach it's like it's called a sludge somehow um the nutrients don't get absorbed the way they should so detoxing you can detox uh, by allowing your system maybe to have you can have like fruits and vegetables for a week or if you're not good at eating these fruits and vegetables you can blend them i usually use uh we at quera bits we actually use uh, uh, a blender to keep the fiber and the, you know the pulp in so you take in as if you're taking the whole fruit with belly fat the main thing is making sure that you can be able to see that belly of yours so after you're done that detox now it comes to strengthening those muscles and the best way to do that is to do compound exercises so compound exercises are exercises that are going to be engaging more than one muscle so for example the first one i'm going to show you today is called the squat so the squat is primarily a ex uh, leg exercise but it's engaging a lot of muscles at the same time so the muscles that are going to be engaged are the front of your legs which are your quads your hamstrings your glutes and then your core is going to be engaged because you want to keep everything tight because the the reason why you're keeping everything tight is because you're trying to pull your gut in so as so as we can cut out that fat that extra fat that is on the top layer of that muscle now when you start the squat what you want to make sure is you want your feet shoulder width apart your chest is up you're facing forward and the first thing you're going to do is push your hips back like you're going to sit in a chair so as you're sitting back for example if you have balance issues then i would say try to be close to a wall but if you have good balance, then you're just going to make sure that your hips go back and you're just going to lower yourself as deep as you can. All right. Try to avoid your knees going past your toes because that will throw you off balance. And then once you get to that point where you feel a stretch in your hamstrings and your glutes, then you come up and you squeeze. So we're going to do at least uh, between 10, 15 or 20 repetitions. Now, everybody's body is different. Some people can do more repetitions. Some people do less repetitions. If you're just starting this, I would say start with 10 repetitions and then focus on doing the exercise right. So like I said, feet shoulder width apart, hips back, sit as deep as you can, come up, squeeze your glutes, slightly tilt your hips forward, 
And then you're just going to count. As you go down, you breathe in, breathe out when you come up, breathe in, breathe out and you when you come up. <clears throat> now, I'm putting my hands in front of me just to have a counterbalance so that if I'm going forward like this, I don't tip over so that I can keep the balance and keep going up. Now, the squat is a great exercise as well because it helps to burn a lot of calories. It's one of the exercises that burns the most calories out of any exercise out there. So it's integral to keep this exercise at the top of your exercise that you do. What about the people who have knee issues? Knee issues, yes. Now, for knee issues, what you want to make sure is that because you're in a space where you don't have enough balance, I would say try to get close to a wall where you can actually be able to support yourself and then you just put your hips back and come up because you're still working those muscles. As long as your uh, knees are not forward like this, there's not gonna be pressure on your kneecaps. So what you want is to get your hips back so that it takes that pressure and moves it back to the back of your heels, all right? What causes knee issues is when people go forward like this and then there's a lot of pressure right here on those knees. So you have to focus getting the hips back, sit back, and squeeze. Good. Okay. Yep. Is that right? Yes. And I'm actually feeling that the nerves are tension yeah, exactly. around. And as you're going down, you want to make sure that your abs are tight. Yes. Yes. And as, as you get stronger and as that muscle stretches, you're going to be able to get even deeper. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, but, but, but the next time I come, this customer care will be away. Yes, okay. exactly. So that is exercise one. Yes. How about those people who are constantly in the office? Mm. What are the exercises they can do around the office to deal with this postpartum belly? So now, if you're, let's, for, for example, if you're a person who sits a lot. Drive the car, sit in the office. So, yes. So in the office, it's possible to do this because when you're sitting, you can be able to lift your leg up all right and i say that because then you can engage these muscles right here these are the, the ab muscles uh so cortisol is a is a stress hormone that happens that the reason why you have belly fat is because of cortisol it's when when you're stressed out what your body's response is to flood your body with cortisol and cortisol's way of dealing with the stress is to hold fat and so it deposits it all around Wonderful. your gut. So if you can do something where you're lifting your leg up, you can even do it when you're sitting. Yes. You just bring your leg up like that. And then you, you do, let's say, uh, 20 on each side. Mm. And you do five, rapid, uh, five rounds or five sets. You, you're engaging those abs. And that way, the, those muscles are being worked. In this position, your abs are being engaged. So once you're in this position, then everything else that you're adding or the exercise that you're doing, you're gonna be really, really, really getting a lot of engagement of other muscles as well as keeping your core tight. So you go down about an inch and come up, go down about an inch and come up. Now, if this is a little bit too difficult, what, what you can do is modify. You can go down to your knees, but still you want to make sure that your body is straight, your hips are not back, you want to keep your body neutral this way I already feel my abs are already stretched and they're engaged and then I can go back down an inch like that an inch like that so that's a good one yes yeah so this yeah this one you can really go down and come up like that as long as you're keeping your body as straight and breathing out as you push against the gravity. Okay, so that's three, two more. Two more. So now we're gonna do bicycles. So in engaging your abs, your abs are made up of three compartments. So this is the rectus abdominis. This is what we call the six pack or eight pack for some people. And then your obliques, all right? So the top compartment of your rectus abdominis, abdominis is engaged when you flex the top part of your spine and then the lower part is engaged when you bring your knees up like I, I said with the sitting 
and then uh, rotation is engaging your obliques. Now, the bicycle crunch is a great exercise that engages all three of these parts. That's why I always tell people this is a great exercise to have in your repertoire. Now, with this one, you start from your back. You're going to make sure your back is on the ground. Slightly lift your shoulder blades off the ground. Then you're going to lift your legs up. And you're going to bring your elbow towards your opposite knee. That's where you're getting that rotation. So that rotation is going to engage those obliques as well as that flexion to engage the top of that rectus abdominis or the top of that those abs. So you go across, alternate across, alternate across like that. Now what I normally do is I count one rep as going both sides. So I'm going again for 20 repetitions and squeezing. Make sure you breathe, keep your abs tight as you do this. to go. Yes, exactly. Wow. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, belly fat is not something that anyone should keep on their bodies because it comes with a lot of trouble, a lot of cardiovascular challenges. It comes with a lot of fat on your, on your liver and treating liver fat is not one of those things you want to go, to go for. And so I urge you, if you really have 10 minutes at home, let's do this consistently. Let's do the detox of our bodies. Call a personal trainer and have these things sorted out in your home, in the comfort of your home. You don't need so much. And when we are finally healthy, we will save the hospital bills. I want to thank you so much for consistently coming to the YouTube channel. We will continue to bring you the best that we have in our stores. Kindly subscribe, like, and share this video and let us grow together. God bless you.